Hey guys, um, just wanted to share with you my second guest design team project for Craft Supplies U for the month of December. And this is my first altered egg carton. Um, I found the cardboard one. It's just a six egger um, because all of the dozen ones are like, you know, the styrofoam type material. So. Um, that's why I did this six egg carton. Um, Decker. Sorry, guys. Um, so let me show you what I did. Oh, let me first show you what I used. Um, I used a bunch of different flowers. Here are some of them. Some of the pink ones that I used, the two different color pinks. Um, I used this brown one. Um, and then I don't have an example of yellow one, but here are the orange ones. Orange, kind of peachy ones that I used. And then I used this lace with the pearl trim at the top. I used this one, scallop one. I love this one. And I used this. And then one of the triangle ones that I used is on the inside, I'll show you. And then um, I'll point out a couple other things that I used, but um, I don't have any more. I used whoops, these, one of these um, hot air balloon charms. And then from my stash, I just used some pieces of doily. You know, when you cut doilies up, you have the, just the cutoffs of pieces, so I use some of those. Um, and then some tulle. So what I did first was I gessoed the whole egg carton, and then I painted it. This is my new favorite color. I painted it with folk art um, sea mist. Um, so I painted the whole thing with that color. And then here's one of the craft supplies for you trims that I used. And then this is the one with the lace with the pearls at the top. And then here's the triangle one that I used. And then this is just the doily cutoffs that I glued all around. And then here's that scalloped one. Hopefully you guys can see there's just not too much glare. And then the triangle one again. And then I put um, some really light pink tool all on top of that. And I covered the top with this doily cutoff stuff. And then here's the other doily cutoff trimming stuff. And then these are all the flowers. The ones that I didn't have examples of were this white one and the yellow. And then I just put some eyelash trim in there. And also I used all of these little pearl sprays. This is my last little bits in here. And then these are the leaves that are attached to... I just want to pull one out so I can show you. See all of these flowers, all these parchment flowers, which I just, I've said it before, I adore the parchment flowers. They all have, you know, two or three usually leaves that are on here. But when you cut, see how far down they are? So when you cut up here to glue your flower on something, these come off, and then you, which is actually good because then you can just stick them in wherever you want. So I just stuck some here and there, all around. So all the trims go all the way around it. So that's the top of it. And then on the inside, up here at the top, I just took some paper from one of my absolute favorite paper, favorite paper stacks, which is uh, the Primrose. I'm grabbing it. Um, the DCWV, the Primrose stack. I love this paper. Um, so one of the pages, you know, is where you can do your own cutouts. So that's what this is. This is just a cutout from that page, one of the pages. And then I just hand cut these banners from the paper and um, just 
attached them with some yarn and then I used these are some of the bling trims um, from craft supplies for you that I just used to hold up the banner and then here is for some of the scalloped lace and then some more flowers and leaves and then there's where I tucked the um, hot air balloon charm and then down in here is where you can store your little goodies and this can either be something that can be sitting on your candy station or you can send it to someone and put all their little goodies on the inside so here's that other trim that I used um, that's around the top on the outside and then I just put whatever in it I have some pearls and some uh, metals and buttons and whatnot and some bling in each little section so there you have it guys that is my very first altered egg curtain and I thought it came out very nice for being my first one all right just give you another look see here there's the back so yeah I will have a link below to the shop um, if you've watched my previous vid videos you know that Julie has closed the exhibit store and the Etsy store is now closed as well so everything um, should be listed at the craft supplies for you website again I will have a link below to the store so you can go check out the awesome parchment flowers and her laces and trims thanks for watching guys we'll talk to you later bye